check this door out. Hey, what's up? Duff here. Let's let's try this. Let's try this shit again, right? Shot a whole video yesterday only to discover when I went to edit it that the audio was trashed. My guess, I'm not 100% sure, uh, the external mic, there was no external mic. Although I did check before I started that, that I was getting signal on the external mic. So I think what I might have done is when I mounted the camera on the selfie stick that I accidentally plugged the cord that connects the transmitter to the to the camera into the wrong hole. There, there, there's an output and then there's a headphone jack uh, right, right next to each other on the DJI mic and I think I might have plugged it into the headphone jack like a dumbass. That is my theory, but the end result was I had no video of roughly a, or I'm sorry, no audio of roughly a 20, two minute uh, collection of videos. And it's a bummer because I had some good commentary there so I tried to salvage it by just doing a voiceover uh, but it's not the same obviously and some some people commented that just, yeah it's not the same when you do a voiceover and I agree because my whole thing is spur of the moment seat of the pants and uh, you lose that aspect <laughs> when you're uh, just talking over your footage afterwards. So let's try this again. Hopefully we have audio this time. So yesterday I was on my Master V4. Today, I'm on my Emotion V13, which I've not ridden in a good, a good amount of time. And we are, we are, stay there, thank you. We are riding in a different direction than what I normally do. This is an area that's close to me, but I never go this way. So um, yeah, we're, we're expanding our boundaries today and see what, uh, see what we can find. So one of the things I mentioned during the ride yesterday that I did not talk about in the recap is uh, part of the reason that I haven't been doing a lot of riding is okay, let's go this way. Is because I've been dealing with a IT band problem in my right leg for right around a month. And for those of you that don't know, the IT band is a piece of, uh, it's a, I don't know, it's a tendon or I don't know what it technically would be classified as, but it's, it runs from your hip to the outside of your knee and it can become inflamed. That's something that happens with runners sometimes. Um, and in my case, it was just, it's, it was a combination of all the pickleball I play and volleyball, I believe. And it started to hurt and it has continued to hurt. It's hurt enough that I haven't played volleyball for a month and I am still trying to play pickleball, but usually by the end of the sessions, I'm, I'm limping. Uh, as you can imagine, it makes, uh, makes riding electric unicycles not that much fun either because you do need to utilize your legs to do that. So I've been doing, I went for a sports massage, I've been doing some additional exercises, I've been uh, doing some additional stretching, and I think it is getting better slowly. I played pickleball yesterday and it wasn't, it wasn't that terrible. I mean, I had some impact afterwards, but it wasn't that terrible. So I'm hoping that I am on the road to recovery. I actually, I was tempted to go play pickleball today, but I stopped myself. I'm like, hey, you know, let's take, let's leave a well enough alone. Don't push it too much, which is sometimes hard for me. So I think it's getting better, but yeah, that is part of the uh, stuff that I've been dealing with lately. All right, so far this direction uh, is kind of boring. <laughs> I'm not finding a lot of uh, great options here. I just went into two different uh, little developments and they both kind of suck. So we'll continue. We will continue exploring. Uh, one thing I did want to mention with my V13 is I have some new struts on order. Uh, Flip, <clears throat> UC Chronicles Flip mentioned, uh, which I hadn't heard about, that there, there was a third party sourcing for these struts that are supposedly better struts than, than what the V13 comes with. So I do have a set of those ordered. They're like a hundred bucks. Uh, they come from China. So we'll see how long it takes them to get here, but uh, I will be putting some better struts, hopefully in the V13, because I'm not thrilled with the way these perform. I saw Kevin from Alien Rides <clears throat> posted another video on Facebook, uh, this time him riding the new Bigod uh, Panther, which, which to me initially seemed more like a Master Pro version th four or whatever, three, I'm not sure what, how many versions they have of it, but uh, there are some uh, 
interesting things and his feedback from from riding was very uh very positive so he was doing his test ride in uh, no gear and flip-flops so it wasn't ideal but he was and kevin's a pretty big guy i think he said he weighs around 250 pounds um he was raving about the suspension i did not realize that the get going mr squirrel keep going keep going I did not realize that the Panther has a mid-mount suspension, you know, like, uh, like veteran wheels. Uh, I did not know that. And evidently, uh, Kevin loved the way it felt. Um, he was raving about it. He said that uh, it was catching him. It felt among the best uh, feelings he ever had on a suspension wheel, which I thought was interesting, especially since it's such a big wheel, uh, 118 pounds. Yeah, he, he had really nothing but glowing things to say about it. He loved the way it handled, just despite its weight, it handled well, uh, which kind of reminds me of like the ET Max. You know, you, that's a heavy wheel and it still handles like a lighter wheel. It seems like the uh, Panther had a similar feel to him. I'm now in another development that I'd never been in before. Uh, a little better than the other ones. Looks like uh, it's bigger, so I have some more options of where I want to go in Laley Golf Estates. That's where I am. Laley Golf Estates. So anyways, yeah, based on, on Kevin's uh, initial experience with the Panther, it's looking promising. Looks like a, a very nice wheel. I'm, I'm curious what kind of range you're going to get in that configuration, uh, but it looks like a nice wheel. Uh, they do actually have it available for pre-order on their site, a thousand dollar deposit, and it does not say what the final price is. So yeah, I don't I don't know, would you put down $1,000 not knowing what the final price is? Um, yeah, uh, not me, uh, but I think it, uh, it could be a nice wheel. He actually, he actually has an X-Way as well, and he said uh, already, just from this initial um, testing that he did, that he thinks he's going to prefer the, the Panther over the X-Way. Well, I thought that was interesting. Another thing I mentioned yesterday on the ride that I didn't mention in my my voiceover was how awesome the weather has been here in Southwest Florida the last couple weeks. Like you have lows in the 50s and then highs in the 70s and low humidity. It's just perfect. Like this, this is the kind of weather that I moved to Southwest Florida for. Uh, when I was first exposed to the area, I was still working up in Pennsylvania for a bank. Came down here during the winter and I, I was just blown away. I'm like, how can it be December and it's this nice? That's why I'm here, really. It, it is why I'm here, because of these, you know, three, maybe three to four months of just really, really nice weather. Uh, whereas in Pennsylvania, those three to four months are terrible. <laughs> they were terrible. So yeah, uh, we are in the middle of some fantastic weather right now and, and I'm going to enjoy as much of it as I can. I just tried to get down to sit and it, that's a no-go. IT band is uh, definitely preventing me from sitting on this wheel right now. It's just, it's a weird feeling. It's almost like, uh, hmm. like if you hit your funny bone, sort of, like you get like a weakness in the muscle and stuff. It's it's a weird feeling. But anyways, uh, no seated riding today. The Corolla. I can take him on the speed bumps. He's got to slow down. I really don't. I have no idea where I'm going. Kind of going with the flow. I'm sure I'll eventually find my way out of here. Uh, like Kevin from Alien Rides, I saw a second video from Marty this morning. There's some of it, I didn't watch a lot of it, but uh, regarding the X-Way, which he just unboxed, he declared the X-Way, his opinion, to be the fastest, fastest accelerating wheel that he's ever ridden. So that's interesting, right? So Marty's saying that and then Kevin saying that the Panther feels better to him than the X-Way. I don't know, man. A lot of good wheels out there right now, right? There, there's tons and tons of good wheels. I talked at length about the F-22 Pro yesterday. Tons and tons of wheels. Unfortunately, my, my time and wallet will not allow me to uh, try all of them. But uh, yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time to be in the hobby, I think. If things were less expensive, it'd be even better. Back out on Rattlesnake Hammock, I'm, I'm debating if I want to just turn around and go back and get my, uh, my lunchtime sub at Wawa or continue on 
up into Collier Boulevard, make a right, run into Tammy Amy Trail. That's going to be a much longer ride. Uh, it, would, it would be me revisiting my uh, riding a bike lane with three lanes of 60 mile an hour traffic. Uh, I don't know. Do I want to do that or not? I, I don't know. This is another story that I told yesterday that got lost. <laughs> got lost. Uh, the other day... I got a message from uh, one of my subscribers. I won't mention his name because I don't know that he, he, I don't think he care, but I, I won't mention his name. But anyways, he sent me a message on um, Facebook saying, hey, you know, I'm not sure what you're trying to accomplish on you know, social media with some of the stuff that you're posting right now. But if you, if, if you want to you know, have more uh, success, it's better to have a more focused more focused content and what he was referring to was in my on my instagram and TikTok. i've been posting uh, some other you know non-pev related things such as such as are there any cars coming uh, yes there is of course there is of course there is and they're going very fast yeah uh some of the content is like me doing uh calisthenics Little little mini calisthenics challenges, which I which is what I used to do like probably 10 to 15 years ago for the barbarians, just like little small versions of that. And I've also been doing these little segments called uh, questionably valuable advice, where I basically just just relay whatever thoughts I have about different things, relationships, life, attitude, whatever. You know, it's the kind of stuff that you'll see me talk about sometimes on video here. Uh, or in live streams, you know, I'll just talk about stuff. And I've been doing that stuff on uh, those platforms. And his point was when you diversify like that, then you can potentially lose audience because some people want more focused content, which I agree. I agree. Um, I haven't really, I haven't put most of that stuff on YouTube. Uh, I guess I could, but I haven't. Uh, but I told him that, you know, my, my theory has always been that I'm just doing this because I enjoy it. I do it because I, I want to put out whatever I want to put out. I'm not looking to become a, a, a YouTube uh, full-time creator or anything like that or a social media uh, full-time creator. So uh, I'm good. I'm good with the way I'm doing it. And uh, like on, uh, on YouTube, I do have the EUC Army content which is dedicated PEV content for that very reason. For people that don't want anything else but PEV content, you should be subscribed to my EUC Army channel. So anyways, I, I gave him a much more concise reply, much, much, less, much less wordy than what you just heard. And uh, he, he replied back the next day. He says, oh yeah, man, I was just, I was just really high. <laughs> it's all good. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I thought it was funny. So, I don't know. Do you think that was funny? I don't know. Maybe, maybe this, this whole thing was unfunny, but, you know, that shit happens. Just had a guy cut right in front of me. He did not look my direction at all. At all. Luckily for me, I anticipated his lack of awareness and was able to avoid him. Uh, but, yeah. You got a plan for people not paying attention, right? Definitely do. Feels good to be back out on the V13. There's always, there's always an adjustment period when I get back on this wheel because it's just, it's, you know, it's, it's a big-ass wheel, right? Big, it's heavy. Uh, but, yeah, it doesn't take long and I uh, feel comfortable. I wish I could sit down on it right now, but I cannot because this is the only wheel that when I'm uh, in normal physical condition, I can sit on this one uh, somewhat comfortably. Uh, so, yeah, V13 is a valued member in my wheel collection. Really, my only significant gripe with the V13 is I wish the suspension was better. I mean, it's okay, it's passable, but it definitely isn't good. And uh, again, that's why I'm hoping that the struts that, uh, that I have on the way will help that problem, I hope. Check this door out. Lunch has been secured. Uh, Eagles play at one o'clock, so timing should work uh, just work, work out pretty well. It's, I didn't even mention, I don't think, that it's Sunday morning. What are these people doing? Huh. Oh, 
always react strangely to people that have a zombie-like, uh, <laughs> a zombie-like uh, affect about them. And right there, they they seem to have that to me. Okay, can I get out here in traffic? Once this car gets by me, I can. Yes, beautiful. Okay, like yesterday, we're gonna do another rolling outro because I feel like it. I feel like it. If you found this video enjoyable, if you can actually hear the audio, please think about giving it a big thumbs up. Imagine this sandwich is my thumb. Give it a big thumbs up. If this, if this is your first time visiting a channel, please consider subscribing. And if you're gonna subscribe, you can always hit the notify bell, which is over there somewhere. Huge thanks to my channel members. I have 23 or 24 or something like that, but they are all hanging out over there. I appreciate you. I appreciate your support and I will continue to appreciate your support. Feel free to leave your comments, suggestions, ideas, and thoughts below about whatever I talked about. Talked about a lot of different things. And uh, let's see, if you watch to the end of this video, I appreciate you a lot because that means, that means a lot when you take the time to stay, stay tuned in till the end of a video. So if you did do that, think about putting, put in the, um, comments hashtag take two because this is my second <laughs> attempt to basically do the same thing yeah hashtag take two and uh yeah so hope you have a great sunday um, i might be mia for a little while so uh nothing to be concerned about i will return i will return and i still am thinking about doing a live stream tonight depending on my mood we shall see so that's all i have for now until next time duffman out What? What's up, baby? Okay. Okay, I'm home. I'm home.